That's how it's gonna be. We're gonna be poofy in this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go through some of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. I have found it really difficult to find new people on Instagram for like a while and I'm not the only one I'm seeing it on a lot of different like forums people chatting about it on their insta stories as well it's just not as easy to discover people as it was before and I know there's like the discover section but I still feel like I just I don't find any like smaller people to follow I don't find any new people to follow and this is my fault because I watch a lot of Beyonce videos it's just a lot of Beyonce <laughs> So that's kind of what I'm getting in Discover. It's obviously seeing Katie has watched 10 Beyonce videos today. So then my entire Discover stream is Beyonce. I'm not complaining about that, but I'm just saying I'm not getting to find like new people to follow. And I love finding new people to follow because it's a great source of inspiration and all that kind of stuff. So what I've decided to do is I want to do a series where I call out some of my favorite people to follow across different categories. So the category might be travel, it might be fashion, it might be aesthetic, it might be food, whatever it is. I'm going to do a series of different people that I like following. Some of them are going to be absolutely huge on Instagram and you're 100% going to know who they are. But others are going to be smaller people that I like following. Uh, that I think should have definitely a bigger following um, and some of them are going to be people that I've recently discovered if I find them myself. None of these lists will be exhaustive, let me tell you that right now. Also a shameless plug, if you're looking to follow someone else then there's always myself over on Instagram, OKB. I do a lot of traveling, a lot of stuff around Dublin and showing you different nice places to go there and some fashion and all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, shameless plug. Today we're gonna get started on my very first one and this is something that I've become super passionate about over I'd say the last four or five years and that is traveling. Anyone who knows me knows that I have done a lot of traveling in the last I'd say three years to be honest. Um, I took three months off work last year and this year so like uh, November, December, January um, and went traveling and did 12 countries in basically 12 weeks. It was amazing. Travel is just something that I'm really passionate about and I wanted to show you some of the people that I really love following when it comes to travel. There's a good few Irish people on this list, which I'm like really happy about. Irish people, I don't know, I think it's just something within our like DNA. We're just really good at traveling. We love traveling, it's in our blood. I don't know what it is, but there's some really, really cool Irish people to follow on here as well, as well as some really interesting people from all around the world. So let's get right into it. My phone is really slow, by the way, so it might take a while to do this but we'll see what happens. Okay, first up, we're going to go with Nadia, Nadia Daily Self. She is a brilliant Dublin-based blogger. Well, I say Dublin-based, she seems to be away all the time because she is essentially a travel blogger or a travel writer. She writes for an Irish magazine called Stellar Magazine as well, and she just takes the most gorgeous photos. I mean, look at this. Like, can you deal? Royal Caribbean cruises stunning shots out of planes like the girl is just she just has such a good eye for this kind of thing and it makes me sickeningly jealous how good she is so she's a really good one to follow especially because she writes about travel for a living so she really understands like the different things that you should be looking out for um you know different places you should be going i mean how cute does she look here in this one? Oh my god how adorable that's in Machu Picchu. I don't even know how many countries she's traveled to. Oh good, my internet's being really slow as well. Yeah, I don't know how many countries she's traveled to at this stage. Let's see if it says it in her bio. It does not. But also you'll see in her Insta story, she has all the different places that she's been to. So like Lake Garda, Caribbean Cruise, Rias, but I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. Tenerife, Peru. God, my Spanish teacher will be so disappointed in me. Yeah, my internet is like being really slow, but like Porto, India, Sri Lanka, Royal Caribbean Cruise, Lisbon, really, really good stuff. And she also uses the tag, the Nadia Daily Self Travels. So once my internet decides to kick in, I will show you that. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna have to turn the Wi-Fi off. Oh, oh, we're back. Okay, yay. What was I looking at? Oh yeah, the Nadia day, the daily self travels. So you can see like she hashtags a lot of stuff. It's just great. She's a really, really interesting person to follow. Uh, she takes beautiful photos. She goes to incredible places. And she, because she is a travel writer, she has a really great way of explaining places to you and explaining places to go and different things that she did. So how cute is she at this photo? Oh my god, adorable. She is a really, really good person to follow. I love her. I think she's fab. Um, and she's also doing, starting to do uh, trips with G Adventures if you're interested. So basically she'll email you and let you know what trip she's going on. She's going to Colombia in October. I really want to go but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it happen but I'm going to try. And yeah, she's just a really, really interesting person to follow and I definitely think you should give her a follow. Okay. Okay. All right, let's move on to number two. Why did I do that? Number two, what am I doing? All right, next up we have somebody who has a slightly smaller following, but this guy is an incredible photographer. His name is Greg, Gregory, uh, but it's Gregda is his handle. And wait until you see his photos. Like, oh my God, they are amazing. He's currently in Lombok, Lombok? I don't know, but he's talking about like the earthquake and it's just really interesting. But his eye is simply amazing. Like, look at this. Gorgeous. Such gorgeous photos. And what I also love about him is he takes such gorgeous photos of Dublin. I love Dublin. So when I see somebody like take really great photos and like really capture the essence of it, I'm just like, yes. So that is obviously a stunning photo there. You know, he just really captures how pretty Dublin is, which I love. But he is also a brilliant travel photographer, so takes some really stunning photos. Like when he was in Iceland, I love that whole series. I just thought he really, he made me want to go even more, which is bad because I'm already dying to go and just haven't got the chance to. Oh, I loved this on his feed when it was like yellows and blues. I was very into that. And when we had all our snow in Dublin, like really, really cool. Why is that not white? Jeez. I know uh, from speaking to him that he has actually taken time off work to do a lot more traveling. So right now he's in Bali. He also has stuff from Barcelona and Iceland up there. And he's also gotten involved in IGTV, which I still haven't done. I don't know if I want to or not, but yeah. So he is a really, really great one to follow. He's taking really interesting photos of places. Like look at those rice fields in Bali. Oh my God gorgeous he's a great one to follow and i'm definitely really excited to see what he does over the coming months as he's traveling more i think it's going to be really exciting and i cannot wait to see all his photos next up we have a fab irish blogger she is brilliant her name is janet newham new newham i'm really not good at names today and my Alexa just turned on for some reason. She has a, a blog or a website called Journalists on the Run, which is brilliant. The girl tells the funniest stories. Like you have to, <laughs> you have to read her blog post about when, I think she's going to the Maldives for a solo moon as she calls it. Oh my God, it was so funny. Like she's really, really honest. She's really interesting. Like she has experienced it all traveling she like got robbed on her birthday um while she was taking like a day-long bus or something like mad stuff she has experienced it all she was actually one of the first people to like she actually featured me on her page god like two years ago and that just gave me a big boost because it was like somebody as big as her to feature me on her page i was like that's really nice um but she's just a really nice person she's really interesting and she goes to such cool places like her feed is just full of the coolest countries to go to and she'll find like really weird places not weird but she'll find like unique places to go like she was talking in this photo how adorable does she look but she was talking about um a festival called Vogel Ball in Hamburg and she said it's one of the best festivals she's ever been to I personally never heard of it but now I'm like telling all my friends I want to go to Global. And when she was in India for Holi, oh my god, I died over those photos. Like, look how stunning this is at the Taj Mahal. Yes, yes, Janet. But when she was at Holi, I'll try and record this now. 
But, um, it looks so fun. It's so good. In case you can't tell, I really want to go to Holy. Like, I'm like, let me go. Oh, and Nadia's in there as well, who I showed you earlier. There she is. Yeah, I need to go. She's like, oh, I'm gonna end up broke because of all these people. But yeah, she's just got a really lovely way about talking about traveling. She takes amazing photos. She's so fiercely independent. Like she talks about going to the Maldives for like a solo moon and she'll like, she'll just pack up and go. And I have so much respect for that. And she's just brilliant. I have a lot of time for her and a lot of respect for her. So yeah, if you're looking for somebody really interesting to follow, she's a great one to follow. Next up. Oh my God, she's, I, I love this vlogger so much she is amazing guys it's serena williams twin she actually has a post i think where she talks about constantly getting mistaken for serena williams she's so fab i love her so her name is well her handle is glow graphics um and she is just fab i love her i think she has such a gorgeous eye for photography and she just oozes like love and happiness she is wonderful I'm like look at this one i love this in jaipur like how fab i think she's so interesting like i don't think we're meant to do the same thing every day for the next six years call it alive and die we're all so talented and too dynamic to have just a single story written about our lives oh because they sat around waiting for their parents' approval on the perfect amount of savings on their, partner on their partner situations to get better. There's nothing selfish about pursuing a life that makes you wildly excited about Monday mornings. Preach, Glow. She is fab. I love her. I just think she is so interesting, so gorgeous, so full of light and happiness and just really makes me excited to go traveling. Like, she's... I love her. I just think she's fab. So if you're looking for a Serena Williams doppelganger, Glow's your girl. She is your girl. This next person I actually found on Twitter. I don't know how I came across her. I feel like somebody had retweeted her, I think. But yeah, I found her on Twitter and I love her. Her name is Kira. She quit her job to travel the world solo and this is basically her travel diary. And she is the travel tip queen the travel tip queen there are like she is amazing i think that's why i found her because she was talking about travel tips or something i don't know i actually can't remember but i can't remember a time now that i didn't follow her look at this feed look at this feed when she was in i think it was tulum i mean she is firstly gorgeous but secondly she is just so interesting takes such gorgeous photos like cuba i love this photo of her it basically she's gone into she's talked about this on her insta stories i think about how she basically like directed a girl to take this whole shoot and it was amazing and she ended up making friends with the girl they went for dinner oh my god so good and it's her travel tips that get me like i think it's packing tips let's watch this here A month, hold on, a month of travel, of clothes, in a carry-on. I can't do that for a weekend away. I don't know how she does it. We'll have some stuff that you won't end up using or you will underpack, meaning that you will forget some things because once again, you wait until the last minute. Yeah, true. The second really big tip I have is to pack things that you love. Pack things that bring you joy. It sounds kind of dramatic, but really pack things that make you happy that you would normally wear back home that bring you comfort instead of packing random things because you're going on vacation. I have is to use packing cubes, so you can buy these on I will leave you to watch the whole thing yourself, but honestly, like, and then also how she flies cheap. So I think this could have been the thread where I found her about how she always finds the cheapest flights so she's found flights as low as eight dollars i pay that for like a salad for lunch so 
but she is amazing to follow on Instagram and she's also amazing to follow on Twitter. So highly recommend checking out Kira. She is, as I say, the travel tip queen, but she also takes amazing photos. Like, look at her, look at her. She's just fab. So yeah, you definitely have to check out Hey Kira. I'll be personally insulted if you don't. Okay, this next person, another Irish person. Her name is Nicola, and her tag is all about Rosa Lilla. Why can't I pronounce these? It's really bad. But what I find really, really interesting about her is she actually, in a post, when was this? A little while ago. Here. Was it this one? Yes. She talks about having Lyme disease and actually um, basically that she was in New York when she got Lyme disease back in 2000 and kind of how that has just um, shaped her relationship with New York. She talks about traveling and how she's got her confidence back and I've, I especially found when she was in India it was really interesting because she was just talking about the whole experience. Look at her feed, it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. It's stunning. She is, I and I only know her online, and she is just such a lovely soul. Like, you can just tell by her. She's just so nice. She also talks about, I love this so much. <laughs> she talks about, sometimes I have a think of, touch of OCD. Um, my husband calls me Monica from Friends because of my, uh, my obsession with cleaning and organisation. I had to post another cherry blossom pic to balance out my feed. Is that weird? And I'm like... I get it. Like <laughs> I I have OCD and I totally get what she's talking about here. So uh no, she's not weird at all, at least not by my standards. She's such a fab person to follow. She takes stunning photos, she talks really openly about, you know, loads of different things. So yeah, give give Nicola a follow. You won't regret it. Another amazing Irish person. Also, is anyone getting stressed about how quickly um, my battery is going down? That's my phone. Basically, basically doesn't work. Loads of you probably follow this guy because he is really prolific uh, in terms of like drone photography. It is Tobias from Air Pixels and I have been following him for a long ass time because I love his photos. Yes, they are definitely more styled and um, there's a definite theme running through it and there is editing, but I mean, some of it is raw natural beauty that is just being enhanced, um, but I love his feed. Like, look at this. Oh my God, I can't even tell you. Like, I want a drone so bad and Tobias is like, 75% of the reason because I see his photos and I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to do that. I just love the like juxtaposition. I love any of the ones like, let me find it. But any of the shots like these where it's like overhead a road and there's like trees either side and it's cars. I think they look amazing. I think any of the ones where it's like waves crashing against each other look amazing and he does in his insta stories you'll see here uh, in the highlights talk about like the print shop so you can actually buy some of the prints which i actually think i might do these are really nice and um, but also like q and a's are in there um like and talks about like the cameras he uses and stuff and then there's also um lofoten what's oh, there left Okay, I can't keep watching that because the tail will be gone because I will actually just sit here and watch it and this video will turn into you just looking at me being like... But just stunning photography and I think it's really interesting that his entire feed is really... Not entire feed, but a lot of it is focused on drone photography or, you know, shots from a different point of view and I think that's a really interesting way to look at things as well. And um, so he's definitely one to follow if you if you don't already. And if you don't, what have you been doing? Seriously. Okay, another person to follow in this area is, again, names, Gab Scanu. I don't know. I think that's right. He is from Australia, as far as I'm aware. And again, a lot of drone photography, not all drone photography, as you'll see from his feed, some, you know, 
regular photography I guess is the word but like really like very aesthetically pleasing feed like it's all so it's all so themed and I just don't know how people do it I'm clearly envious um but really amazing stuff so he was in Saudi Arabia and went to this ancient archaeological site I'm not even going to try to pronounce it and he took these incredible photos I mean look at that it is literally like it looks like something from a Star Wars movie um so you know I'm just like in awe of these photos again Saudi Arabia like stunning just beautiful beautiful photography really interesting he goes to a lot of places that like I've never been like Saudi Arabia um, and takes just gorgeous aerial photography everything is just so aesthetically pleasing and also does videos as well look how cool that looks I really like this video as well this is fab So fab, so fab, like just love it. I wish he'd actually do a lot more videos, um, but yeah. And then so like, you know, his trips to Japan, Europe, Palawan, um, Saudi Arabia, like really interesting stuff. So definitely give Gab a look on his feet and a follow and all that jazz. The next two people, the last two people as well, are really big, um, but they're still very interesting people to follow and people that I really like following. So, okay, I mean like Gypsy has 2.1 million followers. So, you know, most of you are probably following her. But just love like the photos. I just think they're gorgeous. And she goes to really interesting places. Like when she went to the um, Giraffe Hotel, I want to go there so bad. I've wanted to go there for years. But like just really fab places and a gorgeous feed to follow. And I suppose if you're looking for inspiration as well. So some of these, yeah, okay, you may not want to travel to all the same countries. But if you're looking for like, you know, creative inspiration, if you're a content creator, whether it be on YouTube or blog posts or Instagram or whatever it may be some of these sites can give you really good inspiration and I mean it's important that we all find our own aesthetic and how we want to do our own themes and all that kind of stuff but it's still great to have some people to have as inspiration and she also has additional stuff on there like cooking and um, you know presets Switzerland I'm dying to go to Switzerland like Yes, I just want to go. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, a lot of shoes. Look at those. Just a gorgeous feed. Um, that's really interesting to look at. I'm really pretty. And I just, yeah, I mean, I could never take photos like this because it's just, it's on another level. But you get what I mean. And then the final person, because my battery is going to go go has 1.4 million followers so that's you know rocky barnes so i've been trying to work out who goes in what category and rocky was one that i was like where do i put her because she could be in fashion she could be in lifestyle she could be in travel i don't know so i think that's important to note as well some of the people on like if i put them in travel it doesn't mean that they're just travel they can be really interesting to follow for other things as well so that's a good point to note. Rocky is like a combination of like a model influencer. Like she does a lot of modeling work. She's absolutely stunning. But she travels to really interesting places as well. Uh, she goes on a lot of the Revolve festivals and stuff. So she's a really good person to follow if you're looking to get like that insider perspective. It's like Ibiza, Miami, Bermuda. The girl is constantly on the plane. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she doesn't get a cold because I get colds when I'm on planes too much. Because she's somebody that's constantly traveling, you're always gonna have new inspiration from her. Like, there's just, there's a lot to love here. So, pretty much my dream house. Wow. The shell. Oh my God, the shell bed. Yes, 
fab. So you see her Insta stories are another really great way to like get a bit more of an insider peek and she's a good one for a story as well. Okay, so my battery was at like 60 something and now it's at 22, so that's good. This is not an exhaustive list of people I follow for travel. It's very much just like people who are top of mind for me at the moment. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below. And also let me know in the comments if you weren't aware of any of these people and if you're now following them. I would be really, really interested to know how useful you're finding these videos. And if you have any other travel people that you think I should be following, please leave them in the comments down below. That's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Where I call out some of my favorite people to follow. Let's start that again. None of these lists, blah, 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 blah. You appear to be having some technical difficulties. Please hold the line. I'm such a stalker. Stop. Firstly, gorgeous. <laughs> I joke there. Oh, no. Not recording. One, don't be like me and procrastinate because when you procrastinate, it causes in that realm, 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 re realm. Why can't I say the word? In that same area. Hold on, itchy back. You get what I'm saying. Let me know if the in the comp blah, 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 coffee breath.